Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. My Nigerian, my fellow Nigerian people, it's so sad what is going on in this country. It's so sad. I don't know who orchestrated these killings that have started since 2015, that has been going on. They kill a whole family. They kill human beings like, like the woman just said, like the video you just watched now. They are killing human beings like they are killing chicken. But guess what? The end has come. There is a way you push someone to the wall and they will turn around. You know what is happening? They have incurred the wrath of God. In Nigeria, they have incurred the wrath of God. The people that are behind this killing, you know, perpetrating evil, helping others to carry out evil, 
mandating them and giving them the the, um, the, the, the the opportunity to be able to kill, providing arms and supporting them, telling them to go ahead and kill people, your end has come. Because you can't be killing people anyhow. Kidnapping everywhere, killings, not to mention but a few, raping, destruction of farmlands and property, children. The other day I saw a very, a very, a sight that I have still not recovered from. A pregnant woman killed and the baby dragged out of the tummy. Lots of evil going on in Nigeria. Too much bloodshed. But the end has come. Like you can see, men of God are beginning to pray and call upon God over this matter. Nigerians, I want you to lend your voice. Let's not complain. Let's not say, oh, this, that. No, it is time for us to rise up. Because if you keep quiet in a time such as this, you are not doing the nation any good. If you talk about it, tomorrow it may be your turn, God forbid. But if you pray about it, if you rise up and cry against insecurity, injustice, uh, un unfairness, insecurity, and you make, uh, you know, you cry, we cry to God, God will hear. God will hear. He's the one that made us. He will hear exactly what is going on in the country and he will send help, he will send help our way. Nigerians, we need God's intervention. We need God. We need God's help. Listen, your presidents do not care. Did you hear what? Did you hear his reply? Did you hear what he said a few days ago? He said he did not know that insecurity was this much in this country. He did not know the activities of Boko Haram. That is the presidents you have. That is the precedence you have in Nigeria. He said he did not know about the insecurity situation in, the, in Nigeria. He does not even know what is going on. Nigerians, we have God because no government can save us, can deliver us from the hands of these evildoers. The only person who can save us and deliver us from the hand of these people is God Almighty. Please, let's not complain. Let's not debate it. Let's rise up and begin to cry to God who can save us. I want us to cry to God who can save us. Let us lend our voice like you have seen that the EA Adeboye has led the protest and has led the march against insecurity in the country. Please, let's all lend our voices. Let's all support. Let's all be in one accord over this issue. Let's not be quiet. Let's not make the evil do us feel that they are doing well, that they have done well, and that nobody can speak. You have a voice. I have a voice. It is time for us to speak up against evil that is being perpetrated and done daily in broad daylight in Nigeria, in this country. No wonder the U.S., no wonder the United Kingdom has uh, given us, uh, uh, has withdrawn the, the immigration um, migrants visa because of all these things that they are hearing. Nigerians, were not a bad, we are not bad people. It's just the bad government and bad leaders that we have. That's why we need to pray. That's why we need to come out in mass and say no to evil being done in our nation, to evil be, be, being done to, to the fellow Nigerian man. I want us to I want us to lend our voices as well and I want us to also join in this process by praying by speaking against evil in the community whatever form of leadership or arm you find yourself as a local government chairman as a, as a, as a, 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 as a senator in whatever capacity you find yourself head of state governors whatever capacity house of rep Please lend your voice. Stop keeping quiet. Stop sp sp behaving as if nothing is going on. Nigeria is at the mercy of God now. We need to call upon God that God will, will redeem and will save Nigeria from this manic, from this destruction that is going on. And one of the ways you can do it is by supporting the leaders, supporting those that are advocating for for, for fairness in the land, praying and crying to God and also speaking out. Please, my people, don't be quiet. It's just so, it's so unfair. It's so unheard of what is going on in Nigeria. Please, Nigerians, let's all stick together. Unity, they say, is strength. Let's all stick together. It's not time for us to be um, to, 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 to be segregated or to begin to point fingers. It is time for us to call to God, that God himself will intervene in the leadership in the affairs of Nigeria, that God will intervene. Please pray for Nigeria. Please, I beg you once more, pray for
for Nigeria. Please don't be quiet in a time such as this. Pray for the country. Pray for the leadership. Pray for Nigeria. I know that you may say they are not doing well. I, am, I, I accept and I'm not agreeing with them that what they have done is right. But what we can do is we can pray. What we can do is we can speak up for injustice. We can speak up against evil being done daily in our community, in our country, and we can support good governance. We can support truth. We can stand on the side of justice and humanity and say no to injustice. I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there listening. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so we can keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria. Remember that your first country is Nigeria. It belongs to every one of us and you cannot stay on the sideline. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. God bless you. Bye.